Hi, I'm Code Lagomorph. If you don't know me yet, I'm an indie game developer creating games, well, exclusively Christian themed games. And I start doing this since last year, 2021 of June. And I have my first commercial game project currently in development entitled Overcometh and expected to be released for mobile platform. Now, what's the motivation that pushed me to pursue this kind of field? Well, first of all, I'm a graduate computer science, but not a tiny person in my mind back then that I'm going to pursue game development as a career. And why Christian-based games I'm only creating? Well, I dedicated myself in doing this kind of stuff for the reason that I really wanted to work a job and at the same time to edify Christians, followers of Jesus Christ in this modern age we are living now through video games as medium. So basically, my intention is or my goal is to get the best use of video games not only a source of fun and entertainment but mainly used as a tool for edification of brethren in Christ and of those who seek truth in the way that is kind of engaging utilizing modern technology that we have now which are mobile or portable devices and computers so now how's my latest game project so far is it literally so far i will tell you that i'm still in the prototyping stage that to be ready for a game demo release i think 87 percent is done for the game demo because recently i'm done implementing the second to the last major system into my game which is the save and load system so now i'm gonna show you my current app Put that I made with a good old engine. So let's go. So let me just open this folder and open this project that you do. And let's run the game. Now you will notice I already added a screen splash. And here you go, we have the main menu. I have to implement this since I implemented a save and load system so we can see the responsiveness of the system if properly working. If we go back and forth from the main menu and to the end game scene, okay? Now, as you can see here in the load game tab, no save file to be loaded yet. So let's just go back. So let's start a new game. So let's just enter a name. As you can see, I made also an in-game keyboard for typing a name. You can see also the in-game keyboard I made is well responsive. I will just type my name, then OK. Then pick a count slot. We have to choose only one, so for us to proceed to play the game. Alright, now you can notice here the game started the first day of the month of the Shri and it's the first day of the week and first hour of the day. So what you can see, I base my daytime system to Jewish calendar, okay? Then we go outside the building. Now let's try to interact with an NPC. So you can see my dialogue system as well is properly working and responsive. And then you see the routine destination of the NPCs in my game is properly working as well. And by the way, we can also interrupt their walking state for conversation purpose. You can also notice that I implement an auto follow NPC feature. So okay, let's go now to test if saving of the game progress in my game is really working. And focus to this side here. Now the day just passed by. It's a new day in the game. And if you try to go outside, 
15 pieces are back to the root in standby position. Cool, but still we have to check from the main menu if the save account was registered that can be loaded at any time we want to. So let's see here in the load game tab. So there you go, get registered. And we can also delete the save account if we want to. Now let's just go to the new game tab. Now you can see here the slot 1 was disabled since we have save account already been used. So if we try to delete the registered account we have and go back to the new game tab again, the slot 1 became available. Let's try to create new account and we will gonna use the slot 1 if overriding is working. Now we back to the default time and date. Then our name was overrided by the new account we have made. So it's working. Now let's try to sleep more than one night. Let's see what will happen. So, the day is just passing by instantly, now we are in the fourth day. Then let's just go back to the main menu, let's see if the load system is properly working. Alright! properly working. Now let's try to add new account. You see, I put letters typing limit so it will disable the keyboard key if we hit the maximum letters count. Now we have here newly added save account in the load game tab. Now let's just fill all the account slot available here and see what will gonna happen. The third one registered fine as well. This one also is fine. Now let's try to use the slot 7 for the 5th account. It just registered fine, no problem encountered. So far good, now for the last one. So now we filled all the account slot available. Now what will happen if we try to add another account? Oops, so this will just pop up. So it will just give us an instruction. Let's just delete a save account slot in the load game tab. So now we remove an account, the UI responds nicely there and it display empty slot here. So now if we check back the new game tab, it now permits us to proceed. So we have here single slot available, let's use it.
the save and system was successfully implemented and I will just leave the link in the description from where I learned how to implement save and load system since my code is getting more and more complicated if I'm going to demo it to you so I will just shout out Gunky so that's it for now so this is just an update video for my current game project that I'm working just don't mind the debugger warning right there below for this project is still under development and needs more optimization then coming up next will be the core gameplay I will be working which is the battle system for my game so stay tuned, bye bye!